welcome to Canadian Quarters Review. Would you take a listen to that for a second? Yep. The first diesel mule I've had on the channel ever. I'm super excited. I love diesel equipment. Let's check this out, shall we? So I forgot to mention that we are at Valley Motorsports in Kelowna, BC, Canada and we're checking out a 2023 Kawasaki Mule Pro DX. This is really cool. I have heard that they had diesel models before but I never was able to see one up close. So let's check this out some more, shall we? Alright, so this thing is a 993cc liquid cooled 4 stroke overhead valve inline 3 cylinder diesel. I love the word diesel. <laughs> It's got a 23 and a half to one compression. It's got a 74 by 77 millimeter bore and stroke. It is an inline injection pump, electric start of course. You've got a dual range high and low CVT transmission and reverse of course. You have your two wheel drive, four wheel drive, dual mode differential, so an, or a lockable differential. So you're still gonna have the ladder type tubular steel frame on this. You're gonna have a double wishbone suspension on the front with 222 millimeters or eight inches of wheel travel. On the rear, you're gonna have a double wishbone suspension. And it's really strange actually, you've got two different wheel travel heights for the rear. So the left is gonna be 217 millimeter or eight and a half, and the right is gonna be 220 millimeter, 8.7 inches of wheel travel. It's so bizarre. You will have a rack and pinion steering, but it is electric power steering as well. Your front tires are gonna be just some entry level tires. So they're 26 by nine by 12s in the front and 26 by 11 by 12s in the rear. So depending on how serious you are with this machine, if you are gonna be hitting the trail or, or whatever with it, I would highly recommend upgrading to something at least a six or an eight ply radial tire would do you much, much better. Your front brakes are gonna be dual 212 millimeter discs with two piston calipers. Your rear are gonna be dual 212 millimeter discs with single piston calipers. And you've got dual disc mechanical parking brake mechanism in there as well. So you're gonna have a 2345 millimeter or 93 inch wheelbase on this guy. You're gonna have 265 millimeter or 10 inches of ground clearance, which is actually not bad. Your seat height, 885 millimeters or 34 inches. The machine itself is gonna weigh about 840 kilograms or 1,852 pounds. You're gonna have a 30 liter tank, which is not a bad size, and diesels are more efficient, so you're probably gonna make that last longer than the average for sure. Your cargo bed capacity is 543 kilograms or 1,000 pounds. You're gonna have seating for three. The vehicle load capacity is gonna be 17 sorry 717 kilograms or 1581 pounds it's going to have a 907 kilogram or 2000 pound toy capacity which is decent and you got two halogen headlights on the front i would definitely recommend changing those to leds if you're planning on doing anything serious at night and of course your digital instrumentation which will tell you a whole variety of information that you'll want the odometer and speedometer and fuel gauge all that kind of stuff will be displayed and a 36 month warranty here in Canada. It does actually have a larger cargo bed on this particular model, which is really nice. Um, and those dimensions would be a 1375 by 1355 by 280 millimeters. So that's your length, your width and your height. Or that translates to 54 by 53 by 11 inches. A great size bed with a metal floor. I'm really quite impressed with this machine. This is the king of workhorses, I would think, from uh, Kawasaki. I've liked all their mules. You can tell that they're made really well. They're solid, nothing fancy, but they will certainly get the job done and then some. And this is basically the same thing, but it's diesel. So you got something that'll last you even longer, much more efficient, much more power, just don't expect to win any land speed races because it is a bit on the slow side but when you're talking work horses no not necessarily a need for speed there but this is the bed in the back let me get it from a different angle okay that's nice and big it's huge 
I'm loving it. You got your typical tailgate with the Datsun handles. <laughs> and there's your uh, two inch receiver. So you got your typical tires that come with the Kawasaki's, the Frontiers. And they'll get you by if you're on the farm or something like that, but you may definitely want to think about something with a bit more grip if uh, you want to take it on the trail hunting or something. Alright you guys, I'm going to have to cut this one short. I thought both my batteries are charged, but apparently they're not. So again, we're checking out a 2022 Kawasaki Mule Pro DX. Alright, so I've got both the handles unlocked here. I've had to switch over to my phone, but here we go. That's awesome. Hydraulic shock assisted. There's all your diesel goodness. So cool. You got a decent cab in the front here. There's all your buttons and fully automatic. Lots of leg room. Definitely room for three people. Let's see if this seat pulls up. Sort of. There's your emergency brake. No roof on this one, at least that comes with. So I would definitely add one of those if I were taking this home. I like the fact that it comes with that bar on the front. You can definitely put a winch on here and do some plowing if you wanted. Here's inside the front. Not really a storage compartment. I don't think I would suggest doing that even when it says right there. Well guys, this will conclude yet another one for Canadian Quarters Review. So appreciate you guys being here today. Thanks for clicking on the video. And if you haven't done so yet, if you haven't done so yet, please become a subscriber and hit like. It really does the channel a world of good. It's, it takes two seconds of, of effort from you, but it really makes it easier for me to get this content out to you guys. So thank you so much for everything. And with that, we'll see you guys on the next one.